Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is the second day of spring and no birthdays today. It's another sunny day. So let's go find Snowdrop and take her for a walk. Good morning, darling. First, we'll go to the spring garden. Everything's growing nicely here. We have some strawberry seeds. Nothing's waiting to be made into seeds in the chest. So we'll just sow the strawberry seeds and that's that. Trees are growing nicely. We'll see about whether we will use those paths or not because in these gardens, we don't really need to worry about any unwanted stuff spawning like rocks, grass, trees. So we don't really need to cover the ground with anything. And I think it's quite pretty just as it is uncovered. So Maybe I'll remove the paths from the seasonal gardens. Let's gather the rest of the stuff from the uh, earth sprites as well and see what's here in the shop. I have been thinking that if we see like a, a crop that we've never laid eyes on before, like bok choy, I don't remember having ever grown that in this game. We might buy one from here and make seeds out of it and that way we can get a new crop to grow in one of our seasonal gardens. Might be a nice thing to do. Tomato juice and mugwort daifuku, pansy and tomato, stone and flexible grass and grass. Let's go back home. We need to empty our inventory a little and actually in the spring garden the seed makers are currently idle so we might as well make some bok choy seeds here. See which season it belongs to and start growing it if we can. If it's a autumn or winter crop then obviously we can't but if it's a spring or summer one then we will be able to.
We'll put the pansy in there. There's some stuff we can sell. The horse mackerel and the gazami crab. The logs, the food, the tomato. And that's that. Let's cut that tree. It's right in front of our orchard here. And might as well get rid of these trees as well. Just to have good visibility on our orchard. We should have some produce on our trees in, well, actually it'll still be a couple of weeks, I think. Or we'll see, now that the trees are fully grown, it may not take a couple of weeks. Maybe it'll just take a few days. I just remember that the trees took a couple of weeks to grow from seedling into a fully grown tree, but I guess they will produce fruit every, every few days. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Sell those logs. Oh, and of course the mayo as well. Nothing to harvest here yet, obviously. Let's look after our animals. Hello, Harebell. Buttercup. Sunflower. Thank you for the eggs. Come on out and enjoy the sunny day. Let's process these. Hello, Lily. Xenia. Ginseng. Cornflower. Olive. Thank you for the milk, everyone. Come on out, enjoy the beautiful day. Hello, Ash. Brush you all nice and clean. Dandelion. Willow. Thank you for the wool. Ophelia and Daisy Come on out you as well. Enjoy the sunny day We still need to save some of that grey rabbit yarn but the white we can make into cloth. 
Let's do that. And also process the alpaca wool. How is this product going? before we go. I think we are starting to approach the end of uh, having to produce the mirage and smooth cloth or fabric and uh, we are getting close to needing to start producing the uh, tough thread and fabric. Let's clear away these trees, improve visibility around here. We only have 64 tough grass. Let's look around here a little, see what we can see over here, any forageables and such. And um, there's some more sugar over there, but I, <laughs> I didn't notice as I was playing, so we'll pick that up another time. We're not exactly low on sugar, so it's fine. And this is what I really wanted to do. Go over here and see if we have any tough grass. Hello! A brown alpaca. Let's move you into the woolly barn. A name. Once again I was not prepared. I should really write a list and keep it on my on my um desk or something. <laughs> a list with uh, animal names on it or with a uh, flower and tree names on it because that's kind of been my inspiration flowers and trees for the animal names in this series nothing really came to mind but then I think fern is just fine it's not a Hey, where is she? Yep, this is the right barn. And I don't see her here. Ah, there she is. Hello, Fern. Welcome to the family. And you can come out too. Right, let's go back over here. There's a lot to forage, actually. Quite a few flowers have grown over here. And if, if we want the mirage grass and mirage trees to have room to grow, I guess we should pick up the forage from that area quite regularly just so that 
there will be more room for the trees and grass to grow there. That's some tough grass. Let's run around a bit and see. I think the grass over there to the left was smooth grass, which we don't really need. Oh yeah, smooth grass. So run around a bit over here. Uh huh, there are mushrooms. And a follower sprite. We have four. I wonder which reward should we go for next? Should we go for more of the animals? Those were 30 each, the animal unlocks. Or should we go for the autumn garden? The autumn garden would be nice. Maybe we should go for it. So 100 of those follower sprite points, which we currently have four of. It'll take a while, but it'll be really nice to also be able to grow autumn crops and trees year-round. We'll process the milk as well. Put the four-star milk into the fridge. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the autumn garden unlock next. The bike is so conveniently right there that I didn't even think about it. I just hopped on it. Well, little by little, I will begin to form the habit of riding the unicorn and not the bike. So Bridget wants another bit of uh, durable lumber can do. Let's just pop on back to the farm and get it. We have a few. Yeah, we have 13 at the moment. So getting one for Bridget, no problem. We are starting to have quite the collection of foraged flowers also. I wonder if we should just start selling them at some point. Now then, we'll take the unicorn instead of the bike. This is so much nicer. Bridget. Ever since I was young, I've always wanted to take a cruise on a luxury liner. Why, good evening. You're working rather late tonight. <laughs> I work rather late every night. Jessie's pickles are the best. Aww. We have some 
title rewards. Automatic feeder. I'm not sure if we want to use that. Because I think it'll also feed the animals on nice days. And on, on days that when I'd prefer to put them out to pasture. And I'm afraid that'll lead to a bigger consumption of fodder. I don't know if this is the case, but I kind of suspect it might be that the automatic feeder will feed the animals every day, uh, regardless of the weather, and then even if I put the animals out to pasture, they will still consume the, uh, the fodder as well. So for the moment, we'll just put the automatic feeder into storage and not use it. Yeah, I don't want the animals to consume fodder on days when I could put them out to pasture. We do need some more supple and durable logs, so may as well use the uh, time we have left on this. And yeah, just as I suspected, this over here is smooth, not tough grass. Oh well, we, we can use that too. We have been using quite a bit of it to make smooth thread and fabric, so it'll be useful to gather it up as well. Now all there's left to do tonight is just to get to bed, well, put the uh, stuff away from our inventory, like the sap and logs and the automatic feeder which we will store in this chest. What makers do we have here? Didn't mean to put the mushrooms in. Butter. Oh. A mayo maker. We could use a third one. I'll figure a place for it one of these days. Right now, we need to call it a day. Save here for now and continue on to the next day next time. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. All of those things really help this channel a lot. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.